Here with more on the new F-35 jets that Israel is set to receive is former senior Israeli Air Force Commander Colonel Kobe Regev. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to be back. Thank you. Absolutely. So let's let's talk a little bit about the advantages uh, that these F-35s are, are going to have for the Israeli military. The arrival of the F-35 uh, represent the special relationship uh, between Israel and the United States. Absolutely. It uh, reflect the commitment of United States to the security of Israel and uh, to keep the quality edge uh, of Israel against uh, its uh, enemies. We are the only one that received this kind of aircraft, this technology, uh, in our area. So can you tell us a little bit about that technology and what makes these uh, jets stand out <coughs> from other jets that the Army already has or that exist just in the general market? Uh, first of all, it's, it's not just a jet, it's a, a strategic aircraft, right. a strategic capability, because the arrival of the F-35 contribute uh, to the deterrence of Israel against uh, the enemies. Right. Uh, this is the first uh, reason why to buy this kind of capability, which is a strategic meaning of deterrence. We know that the importance of the deterrence it is that it postpones wars. Right. So, and we know that our enemy is really afraid and deterred from the Israeli Air Force. They don't want to be in the wrong side of the equation. So actually we bought a, an aircraft, but uh, the real meaning is that the deterrence is bigger, so it means that we will be able to postpone uh, the wars. Uh, so speaking of those furthermore. wars, I mean, what specific conflicts um, you know, or attacks do you think that Israel is trying to deter with this type of jet? Uh, first of all, it allows Israel to operate in all of the operational environment that we face in the, in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. You know that uh, our area is the most dense area around the world from the uh, uh, air defense right. point of view mm -hmm. and the military capabilities. And it allows us to do the mission better uh, with the less uh, friction. Uh, it also allow us to do special mission far away because Israel operates sometimes, uh, not just uh, in our border, but outside. Which and people we want forget, to bring, yeah. yes. And we want to do it in a, under the radar, very without a friction. Mm -hmm. And this aircraft is the perfect uh, solution for this kind of uh, operation. Now, as a pilot yourself, you've had experience flying planes of this sort or jets, aircraft. Um, have you ever had the chance to, to take a look inside one of these things? Not yet. Uh, to see, of course. To yeah. fly, no. Um, I can tell you I flew this simulator. Okay. And the technology is overwhelming. Uh, I don't know if you know, but uh, uh, just the codes. I mean, it's a fifth generation aircraft. Right. The technology inside is incredible. Uh, the intelligent capability of this aircraft uh, to spot uh, targets on the ground and to, to, to deliver an accurate bomb to destroy the targets is very unique, very fast, with a lot of sensor, a lot of capability, and everything is in-house, in-house. So... That's uh, what's so interesting. Now, what, what is also interesting to me is, you know, when these, these jets arrive to Israel, is Israel changing them in any way, um, or do they just fly them as is? No, we always do some uh, modification, of okay. course, with coordination with the United States. I can tell you that uh, also our industry, defense industries, are involved in this project. IAI, the Israel uh, Aerospace Industries, right. is building the wings. Elbit is building the dash helmets. Yeah, Elbit always uh, gets involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so... So it's not, you know, this isn't a, a just as is type of scenario. Israel's certainly modifying these jets to kind of fit the needs of Israel. But again, like you said, it really is a collaboration with the United States because, you know, speaking of superior power in the air, you said that Israel is the only nation to have received these jets, correct? So what does that mean in the region? Is there any other country nearby that has anything that is near to this level? Uh, no. Um, but uh, we see in the Middle East now going on an arm race, not just in the near surrounding right. of Israel, but also back 
Uh, F-16 is very strong mm -hmm. now in Iraq. Uh, Eurofighter is going inside. Saudi Arabia is getting a new aircraft. Um, and this, with this aircraft, Israel will be able to be again Superior. with superiors from, from many fields. All right. Well, I think that that is a very good thing for this country, certainly yes. with all of, you know, with the this threat. aircraft, we will be stronger. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank for you for inviting me. All the best.